So atopic dermatitis, also called eczema, it is a common chronic inflammation skin disease and commonly referred to as eczema. So a superficial inflammatory process. So in this picture, we can see inflammation in the screen and this is a chronic inflammation. Primarily involved epidermis and that is characterized by puritic lesion, means itchy lesion, associated with family history of, of the disorder, sometimes allergy, asthma, or allergic rhinitis. Hmm? The basic pathology, a defect in the skin barrier mechanism, increase susceptibility to the allergies and environmental irritation. So this is the trigger factor. The person who have asthma, allergic rhinitis, they have more chance to develop atrophic dermatitis. The major goal of the management are relieve the puritis or lubricate of the skin because the skin is dry, we call gerosis, and reduce inflammation and prevent and control secondary infection. In these two pictures, we can see atopic dermatitis, right? And next here, different form of eczema or atopic dermatitis, infantile, childhood, and pre-adolescence and adolescence. Infantile usually begins at the two to six month of age and decreases in incidence with the aging. Spontaneous remissions may occur by three years. The childhood may follow the infantile form and occur two to three years of age. The pre-adolescence and adolescence begins at about 12 years of age and may continue into early adult year or any time in their life. So what are the other data or sign symptoms. Basically, skin redness or dry skin, like this one is a dry skin. In the picture you can see, we call xerosis. And also red papules with a silvery shade and also patient has a very severe puritis or itching, scal uh, scaliness. Also, minute papules and vesicles. So papules basically form elevated uh, circumscribed lesion, but vesicles, small to papules, but it is fill with a fluid or fluid contain sometime oozing cast in the lesion well, this is the cast formation and next here adolescence and elderly adult form commonly occur in anticubital or popliteals area where the skin is thicker so 